What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh. Uh, next up, we have the SI for you. <laughs> totally not doing all of these videos on the same day and uploading them at different times. <laughs> but, so, uh, the SI is slightly different from an interlock and so I will actually leave that first interlock for you so you guys can see the difference as I go along. But the SI, uh, for me, it was popularized popularized when I saw uh, uh, Greg from East Coast Eyes tutorial on the Mark Matthews pocket, and that was the first time I experienced SI knots. And so SIs pull the mesh a little bit more to the outside of the sidewall. So what you're going to want to do here is instead of going for the interlock where we went, starting going through the sidewall, we're actually going to go down through the, the next 10 diamond row here before we do anything else. We're going down through that 10 diamond row and then as always you'll notice we go from the outside in of the sidewall and then this is where it gets a little funky. Um, what you'll see is there's a loop formed as you're going down through that mesh hole. Okay, And now as you go as you go outside in of the sidewall you're gonna wanna go up through that mesh hole, but you need to make sure that you're not going to the outside of that loop. See how there's no, I'm not, I'm not piercing the loop here with the sidewall string, but if you go up through that loop, and it, it, it's kind of weird because it doesn't necessarily look like you're going through it, but you need, just need to make sure you go up through the loop, and then from there, oh my gosh, I just messed it up. That's why it looks weird. If you go up through the loop, as you see I've done here and not the last time I showed you, up through the loop and then once again pull out and down, you will find we have a very nice SI, which is a, a short for special interlock. So as you can see compared to the interlock as well, the interlock holds the mesh a little bit more to the inside while an SI will pull it slightly more to the outside of the head. And what's neat about an SI, and so I'll run you through it again, so you run down through the 10 diamond row, I'll leave that loop for you guys to see, from the outside in of the sidewall hole, and then up through the 10 diamond row and out through that loop. So as you can see here, I've gone through the loop and then once again, tighten it up. So aesthetically what's cool, and you see again here that it's kept to the out outside, but what's neat about SIs in particular is with interlocks, you can kind of see the way the knot works. But with SIs, you get this cool effect of it almost looking like there's one string running all the way down the side of the head. Um, so it's something some people play with when they do uh, pockets made out of entirely SIs. Um, it's just something to keep in mind if you're, if you're going for a cool look. But that, in, in short, is how to do a special interlock. I'll catch you guys next time.